Hello everyone, it's Daniel from Oracleis, and in today's video I'm going to show you the basics of how to use the Oracleis service in combination with the Ethereum blockchain based on an easy example. But first of all, let's talk about what Oracleis is about. Since the blockchain has no native way of communicating with the outside world, there needs to be some sort of an Oracle service that brings information to the blockchain. For example, if you're working with a flight insurance contract and the contract needs to know if there is any delay, it needs to get those information from an outside source. And that's where Oracleize comes into play. It's a trustworthy source that brings information to the blockchain in combination with an authenticity proof. The authenticity proof is a cryptographic proof that provides the authenticity of the delivered data and shows that the data has not been manipulated. Now let's go through a short example of an Ethereum smart contract written in Solidity using the Oracleize API. First of all, we are going to use the Remix IDE in combination with the Oracleize plugin. So if you're testing your smart contract and you're using the Oracleize service, you can test it from this environment. And as a data source, we are going to use Wolfram Alpha. There are multiple data sources Wolfram Alpha is one of those. Um, you could work with a URL. But in this example, we are going to use Wolfram Alpha. And we are going to ask for the temperature in London. Now, first of all, let's start with specifying the compiler version compatibility. And we are going to use the version 0.4.0. 18. Well, the first important step is to import the Oracleize API. And this is important so that the smart contract can actually communicate with the Oracleize service and retrieve data. Now, our contract is called temperature. And we have to implement or include the Oracleize API in our contract so that we have access to the functions. Now, our variable, let's call it temperature, and we are going to work with two events here. First of all, new oracleize query. It's just a short message that the query was successfully sent. Just a short description. The second event is going to be a new temperature. Trim temperature. Now, the first function we are going to implement is the update function. And this is called by the user, in this case, by me. Update payable. Now, let's use our first event. Just a short message. Oracle's query was sent, waiting for a response. Something like that. And now the important part. The function Oracleize query sends out the query. And the first argument for this is the actual data source. In our case, Wolfram Alpha. The second argument is the data you want to have, you want to retrieve. Now, in our example, this would be temperature in London. Now, the second step is we have to implement the function, the callback function. And this is going to be called by Oracleize as soon as the, uh, the result is ready. Now, first argument here is the query ID. This is important because every query has its, has its own ID. And just in case you send out multiple queries to not confuse different queries, and different results at a later point in time. The second argument is the actual result. Now we first have to check if the result or the callback was called by the right address. Oracleize callback address. And if it's not coming from the right address, we need to do a revert. Now we use our second event, just 
our result and now we save the new result in our variable and because it's coming back as a string we need to do the parse integer result now this would be our example let's see if it's working you press on start to compile then you go to run and you deploy the contract now you go to your contract and press on update and the query was sent now you can go up here to oracleize and you see the query was sent no result yet should come in any second there we have it 26 degrees now if you go back to run present temperature there you see it again 26 degrees if you go if you press on update again now it is not going to send the second query because only the first query is for free if you press on update it's not going to work we first have to cover some test ether let's put in one ether press on update again now the second query got sent you can go to oracleize again and we are waiting for the response of the uh, response of the second query it's probably going to be the same result and again 26 degrees now this was just an easy example the fundamentals if you have more questions about this you could go to our documentation docs.oracleize.it and if you want to test your smart contract in combination with the oracleize service you can use the remix browser in combination with the oracleize plugin and hopefully it works.